drama, mystery, intrigue, romance, and more. Hi, welcome back. It's good to see you again. We are going to continue our mission to rescue Tataru and Alphanod from the clutches of a villainous a member of an otherwise pristine group of knights. So, of course, that means yeah, wacky adventure, and who knows what other um, side quests will come up along the way that will be much akin to a uh, shiny object, a squirrel, um, something sparkling, perhaps, in the corner. Ooh, piece of candy. Alright, now I see where we need to go. I'm not the best at the etherite locations just yet. It's not as straightforward. Um, at least to me. So we're going to give it a go, and hopefully I will have chosen the correct location. Let's make sure. Okay. Um, seems about right, so let's give it a go. Survey says... <gasps> oh. But we're just gonna do this the uh, new old-fashioned way. Important Lala coming through. Everyone out of the way, out of the way. I'm not even here on a mission from short supply. And don't mind me being on your table. Ooh, cutscene. Here we go. He's so beachy. I must admit, he makes for a good city leader, even though he's not the leader. But he has a good, strong personality and a likability. Ooh, what is this? Something gold above someone's head? A distraction from the main storyline? Well, who could just leave that to sit there, huh? And in fact, this isn't any old distraction. If you remember, we tried checking this out earlier, but we weren't grown up enough. Uh, scaled for Lollafell and all. But now, haha, <laughs> the day is ours. Not only are we going to save Tataru, we are going to take a look at what is involved with oof, with the hunts in uh, Kuerthes here. Or the Ishgardian area. Because I don't believe this goes to the Central Highlands. And of course, there's always story to it. You know, it's said if you ever want to truly know what's going on in the world, you talk to the old man sitting at the end of the bar. They always know what's up. Seems to be the case here, too. And you know, 
I bet when we are done with him... Yep. We're gonna go to that board that we were at many episodes ago. Running, running, running. Keep those short legs running. Lullafell. And here we go. Ding. A winner is us. No, this is uh, most likely going to be the, just like the Grand Company hunts that you can find in any of the three major city-states, which is fine. But it does show that we're getting to a point where there's so much daily content that unless you're spending hours doing everything, Beastmen's and daily hunts and, and um, just all the other content that's out there, and including the weeklies, like the raids and whatnot, Oh, it's, uh, you're really going to have to start picking and choosing if you want to optimize your time. So we'll take this one, and I'm sure we'll run into these monsters in the course of our adventuring. We haven't really gone outside the walls too much, so there's only forward progress to make, am I right? Mm, yep, not grown up enough. You must be this tall to hunt, and even with my pom-pom, I don't think they're counting it. Now, before we do go back to main story, there's one other thing that we need to take care of. That red splotch isn't off the map. I'm not happy. How can we possibly proceed to save the world if there's other small and irrelevant things to do? <laughs> oh, I love this form of transportation, don't you? I. We're just going to uh, zoom in on you and uh, take a look. You have a magnificent throat sack, by the way. Uh, I bet you can sing very well or gargle or hold your breath or. But it looks like we're going to fight, so cue the music. Oh, no, no. I already went through too many fates in this uh, area, to at least to record. So instead, we're going to... Yes, transport all the way over here. We're going to turn you in. You know, I'm kind of liking this guy. Uh, he can come across, and I believe I've said this before, as kind of a... Mm, well-meaning, maybe a little derpy. And the other people in camp seem to have a, an average opinion of him. But his heart's really in the right place. Yep, we will continue to choose from uh, gear that will support Monk and Bard. Let's just look over everything, make sure you get a good glimpse. Okay. Everything is done. There, let's see, look, scanning, no one yelling help, needs attention, golden question marks. So now, it is time to finally save Tataru, who is conveniently on trial until I get back. One, two, three, and transport. Are you ready? I'm ready. And I'm ready if you're ready. So let's get ready to rumble. No one lays a hand on my Tataru. And, uh, I guess that Alphanod guy, too. He's not so bad. Just gets a bit of a bad rap every now and again. Alright. Drum roll. <sighs> Drum roll. Oh, okay, here we go. Shh, shh, shh. Cutscene time. See you soon. We are gathered here today under the watchful gaze of the Fury to ascertain the guilt of two souls in a trial by combat. Petitioners, step forward.
Sir Grino, for the benefit of all here present, I would ask you to repeat oh, the charges awesome. which you have leveled against this man and this woman. I, Sir Grino de Zemile, brother of the Heaven's Ward, did bear witness to these two foreigners consorting with heretics. Let the accused step forward. Alfino Leveya, Tataru Taru, you have heard the charges leveled against you. Will you take up arms to refute Sir Grino's claim and thereby prove your innocence in the eyes of gods and men? I, Alfino Leveya, I'm innocent of this charge and claim my right to trial by combat. I, Tataru Taru, am innocent of this charge. But I am no warrior and cannot fight. So I claim the right to name a champion. To the old and the infirm, the young and the weak, this right we allow. Very well. Who will stand for this woman? Just as I was beginning to doubt the efficacy of the Ishgardian justice system. Come, my friend. Let us put an end to this mama's farce. Render unto us your judgment. Raise up the righteous and cast down the wicked.
Aha! Take that. We've won the day. We've saved the damsel. We've protected a main character. And we've improved our standing. But I think perhaps one of the biggest victories of all, and pardon my speaking over this, is that we learned how to pronounce Demile. I thought it was Desmail for a while, but I guess the D is silent. Okay, back to it. Oh, would you look at that. New mount time, and unfortunately I'm not going to be able to fly it. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, there's a couple extra steps that we're going to have to take, and by that I mean we're going to have to run around the zone and find certain points. So, that will be included in the playthrough as well. But, this is a great start. And there's a little bit of slapstick humor. <laughs> and we're also out of time. Thank you for helping me save Tataru, and I look forward to playing with you in the next part of Charmin's Icy Adventure. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>